Hi, my name is Zach Solis and I'm with the Davenport Fire Department and I'd like to provide some cooking and kitchen safety considerations for all of you. Unattended cooking is the number one cause for house fires and that's why this video is so important uh, for the Davenport Fire Department to provide for all of you. Uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is the kitchen. It is one of the best places in the house. It's where we store our food and prep our food and most importantly, it's where we cook our great meals. So with that, some considerations for you are keeping the area nice and clean. Um, there's always a lot of countertop um, areas in the kitchen for you to utilize for cooking, but a lot of stuff can accumulate there, like newspapers, mail, possibly homework. Um, and other things that are flammable that could catch on fire are things like our paper towels and napkins. So anytime there is a stove top, you wanna keep items like that away from where you're cooking and keep your work area nice and clean. Now, the stove top. Anytime we're utilizing that, you wanna make sure that we're staying in the kitchen at those times. The oven itself is a little different. It's uh, contained, you can uh, adjust the temperatures, and that can cook for long periods of time. But the stove top, whether it's gas or electric, um, has an open flame, has a heat source, and those things can start fires, obviously. So because of that, when you're using the stove top, always stay in the kitchen. So let's talk about fire. Basically a fire needs three things to grow. It needs a fuel, which could be anything we're cooking with. It needs heat and it needs oxygen. By removing one of these elements, it'll help put the fire out. So let's talk about oxygen. One of the best things we can do is having the proper lid that goes with what we're cooking with. Um, just like a candle that's in a jar, when you put that lid on top, the flame will actually suffocate because there's no oxygen. The same thing could happen here. A fire starts in this container, we put the appropriate lid on top and it'll smother that fire. Related to heat, this might work for location. If this burner's on and a fire starts in this frying pan, one of the simple things we could do is relocate this frying pan to a spot that's cooler. Another consideration we could have is simply turning this burner off. By doing that, it removes that heat source. In the event there is a small kitchen fire, there's two things you could do. You could possibly use baking soda to put on top of the fire to help smother it, or you can use an extinguisher if you know how to properly use that. Related to fires, uh, undetended cooking fires is the number one cause for house fires in our response at the Davenport Fire Department. I'm gonna tell you that again. Unattended cooking is the number one cause for house fires. So always be safe. Consider your surroundings and uh, make sure that your meals get done properly. And uh, we hope you're all safe. Thanks a lot.